what's up guys, it's me here, back with another video, and I haven't done one uh, in a while, at least this past week, if you're watching this video right now. So, this is another showcase video for the Bulls, and um, I also have some news before I get to Bulls stuff. So, a couple things to get off the plate that happened in the past few, or the past week. Uh, one is the, this one I kind of mentioned before, is the Woodstock card show. So, if any of you are, um, and again, this is at the time of this video only. Uh, the 20th of uh, February is the Woodstock card show. It's been gaining a good amount of popularity in the past few months. Uh, I'll be there as a dealer, so if anybody's interested, definitely stop by. Um, as far as weather goes, I'm not too sure uh, how it's going to be. Hopefully, it's not too bad. Uh, but yeah, definitely come check it out. Uh, stop by. As I said, I'll be selling quite a bit of stuff. Uh, I got some new hoop stuff coming in. Um, so I'm going to save that for mail day. Preferably before I sell them. Um, just to get rid of some inventory here and there. A lot of it is it's older stuff that I've had for a while. Uh, still good stuff though. But yeah, definitely come check it out if you're available. Uh, if you want more details, just uh, put it in the comments below. And um, yeah, so... The next video series that I'm probably going to do, uh, this is, okay, so basically, with the mail is and the card show recaps, I have to have something to fill in that, uh, kind of replaces the rips, because as much as I like doing these rips, um, as you guys saw the hoops box and stuff, they get, they get pretty pricey, so, uh, yeah, I gotta fill in that, that video space that way, because mail days are probably once or twice a month now, um, and then, Recaps are only once a month, so I gotta fill in that video space. So what I'm gonna be doing going forward, uh, because you guys see, you know, some of this bigger stuff on the back of my videos from time to time. Uh, but you don't, you don't see the full collection of what I've decided to collect, so I'm not gonna drag on or anything, but I just wanted to mention that I will be showcasing other non-bull stuff. Um, like, for example, my Mitchell PC is pretty big. Same thing with, um, what else? Oh, Steph Curry. So, yeah, I mean, I'm always showing those star-numbered stuff more often. Uh, and let me, let me know what you guys think of that. Like, I don't want it to be just filler videos, but, you know, just a showcase. So, yeah, without further ado, just to not keep you guys waiting, I'm going to be getting on to the Bulls numbered stuff. So, as we're winding down the series, um, yeah, I'm going to be introducing... Uh, bowls, numbered, and short prints. So, I there, there's only a few of these short print cards, but I thought I'd include them. Uh, just because they are... They're there, so... Uh, I'm gonna start off with those first. So, yeah, the first one is this Michael Jordan... Or, not Michael Jordan, my bad. Um, I saw him first, but... This Bulls upper deck. Um, it's kind of like a box topper. But, this one I just call an oversized card. It is numbered out of 35,000, so really, really high numbering. Um, but I haven't seen a lot of these. This was the first time I saw this was actually at that card show in Woodstock a few months back. So, so uh, yeah. <laughs> There's that. A um, few other things before I get into the numbered. 49 points for Zach Levine. Uh, this is from Contenders Optic. Uh, really, really legendary game he had there. Uh, yes, I'm bringing out that legendary word. <laughs> Because that Charlotte game was incredible. Next up is this Otto Porter Jr. Genesis. I haven't been a big fan of Otto Porter Jr. But, um... I don't know. I mean, I, he, he's good. Uh, apologies about the Sharpie on the top loader. But, yeah, I mean, we'll have to see how he fits in with the rotation once he gets healthy. Next up is Zach Levine Astounding. Acetate. Another sweet looking card. The camera doesn't do justice for uh, the next. Yeah, the next one uh, is mainly an insert, but it is a cool one nonetheless. Kind of a short print if you want to call it that, since they are harder to find at a decent price. Zach Levine liftoff. This one I've had for a long time. Uh, this, let's see, yeah, 23 karat gold Jordan facsimile auto. So yeah, not a real auto, but that nice 23 karat gold foil on the back. Pretty sweet. These next two are die cuts. I want to say these are our home jerseys. 
I could be wrong, but let me know. I know as a Bulls fan, I should probably know this, but Denzel Valentine and Joakim Noah threads die cuts. I need the Rose and some of the other die cuts, like Butler as well. But these two are a nice start I got a long time ago. Alright, now I think we got through all the short print stuff, so I'm going to get on to the numbered. Alrighty, so hopefully I'm going to try to keep this video under 10 minutes. Um, don't know if that's going to happen, but some of these cards I might just fly through just because I put them out and you've seen them before. This first one is this Wendell Carter Jr. Rookie Noir uh, dual card, both are out of 85. Again, an awesome looking set, especially when you have both of the cards. And I'm trying to complete the same one of Lowry, but I know um, people have been snatching his stuff up uh, after those few good games. And this is one of those cards, but I'm telling you, I need another one. If you guys can see, it is not in good shape at all. Um, I should probably look to the pictures a little bit closer before I bought it on eBay, but I'm hmm, looking for another one if anybody has one <laughs> is willing to trade in. Um, next up is this first round, Joakim Noah out of 2015. I have a couple of his numbered as I showed you guys are short prints or die cuts, kind of a mix of pretty much everything Road to the Finals. This one is the Metal Plate Rookie card uh, with the protective cover out of 199 of Wendell Carter Jr. Um, ah, these two. Okay, so I was really, really happy to get these two. I was, I was going to build the um, well, I had a little glitch there, but, uh, I was gonna build a set for these, uh, at least as far as the, the numbered set goes, but didn't get a chance after Kobe had his explosive games. So this one's out of 99, King's Court, we've got Levine, Markinen, and Kobe. And then this one looks even better with the Dazzle going on, this one's out of 75. So I've seen the 25 floating, or the one out of 25 floating around, and I've definitely seen the one one Ah, oh, but that was bought up a while back. Ah, uh, that, that was over a hundred bucks, so <laughs> definitely out of my price range. Um, this one I was also happy to get. I got this for a really, really, really good steal. Um, Markkanen, uh, licensed Dominate Die Cut Rookie Card from Essentials. These cards look awesome. I mean, uh, the nice thing about Essentials that year, that it had that platinum look to a lot of their cards, which was really sweet. Uh, this next one, got Luca's number, but <laughs> out of 79, Markkanen, Crown Royale, um, has a bit of a thicker stock to it too, sweet, sweet numbered card right there, and don't mind the one on here, I don't know why that's on there, but out of 249, this one is a red rookie card, so it goes well with the jersey, and I know, uh, shout out to the Sage of Collector, me and him have been having a debate about red cracked ice versus blue cracked ice, and I've been a fan of Hoops Premium blue cracked ice, but he's a red cracked ice person. Uh, we're both Bulls fans, but uh, as, mu as much as the Bulls uh, and the red foils and the red cracked ice, they go together, uh, sometimes the blue, it's just a little bit unique, because I've seen, uh, speaking of blue, we got a Blue Chronicles marketing. Uh, obviously it doesn't look too great here, but it's out of 199 So... Yeah, I mean, I, I guess I've come to realize red does look a little bit better with the Bulls uh, jerseys. But, as far as Hoops Premium goes, I don't know, blue does look pretty nice. Uh, got this Threads Horizon out of 199, Zach Levine. Levine Emerald, Cracked Ice, Chinese New Year Revolution, this one is out of 88. You guys can see that. Five off his jersey number. Wendell Carter Jr. out of 249. I know Chronicles had some pretty high numberings for some of their cards, uh, for at least for a hobby. Um, that is a rookie card. Chandler Hutchinson Red, this is one of my favorites just because it's the chrome and the red goes really nice with the card. Yeah, that one's out of 149 as well. Uh, Wendell Carter Jr. out of 49, my bad. <laughs> out of 49, this is the teal. Um, uh, yeah, this this is one of those cards where I think the blue goes well. This nice contrast. Wendell Carter Jr. Okay, I, I was about to say, I'm like, is this a regular version? Because these classics cards are so hard to tell as far as the numbering goes, but it is out of 49. Rookie card. Uh, Wendell, I never realized how much Wendell uh, Chronicles <laughs> numbered stuff I have. I know I have every single one of his Chronicles retail versions, but this one's out of 149. 
red. Another red Chronicles. This is the playoff. Out of 149. Zach Levine, one of my favorites. This is the red Spectra out of 99. Really, really cool looking card right there. And we're already at 10 minutes. That's fine. <laughs> These ones, I like, it's weird. They look like they're just a regular base, and the silvers are not even numbered, but these regular, you know, base-looking ones are numbered out of 179, 175, my bad. Um, got some more marketing stuff coming up. It's a mix of everything, I guess. Okay, this one is from the Nationals. Yeah, I'll just want to, yeah, National. Uh, rookie card out of 399, so one of my uh, high-numbering marketings. Then, um, this one I was kind of sad since it does have a little bit of a ding on the bottom corner. But it's one of the nicer looking Wendells I have. It's out of 175. Red die cut. Uh, as I said, the red does go pretty well with some of these cards, so. There is that. But, uh, ooh, speaking of red and colors, I guess. We have the blue and the red. Uh, rookie credentials of marketing. The blue is numbered out of 199, and then the red is numbered out of 299. Both rookie cards, both sweet looking. So, and I got those a while back as well. This one is a little bit of a change of pace. It's my only Wade numbered card from his Bulls um, tenure, if you want to call it that. But it is a short print out of 49. Retail exclusive red uh, Wade. So yeah, not a lot of short prints. But I, I guess a lot of rookie card, like numbered rookies, since it was hard to get short prints of uh, these Bulls rookies for, you know, less than 10 or $20, which is kind of my budget when it comes to cards, or spending one, like, spending as much on one card. Uh, here's another Cornerstones marking in, but this one is way shorter print compared to the other one. Um, not way shorter print, but you, you guys get the idea. This one's out of 49. One off the jersey number, so... Ah, there's that. Oh, I think this one was my first Levine numbered card. Uh, first year Bulls card out of 75. Blue checkerboard. Um, this one, eBay 101 alert. Uh, 1 out of 10. Gold, Lowry Markkinen. No, Lowry Markkinen rookie card. It's one of my favorite rookie cards, uh, just because the dazzle looks really sweet. This one's out of 99. Red foil. Relatively new Levine here. I just got this one in a mail day a few weeks back out of 49 from impeccable sweet looking card And then a marketing in blue emerging artists. This one is out of 25 so One off from being first one off the line and then these next few ones are the Heavy hitter kind of the heavy hitters got another red <laughs> Wendell. Uh, this one's just a panini out of 149 this one I was really, really stoked to get, because it was my first, uh, I think it was my first marketing and numbered rookie card, I want to say. This is the National Prism Red out of 25. They were really cheap at the time, I don't I forgot what they're going for, but I feel like these are super underrated. Despite being uh, from the National and short print. Then out of 76, these status cards are nice because the 76 plus the 24 equals 100 for the numbered stuff. Uh, that's not super short print, but... Status always looking really cool, and then to pair up with that blue, we got the red foil of Markin and Emerging Artist. That one's out of 99. Maybe one day I'll get the Court Kings 101. <laughs> and then shout out to Nuggets Fan 41 for sending this to me in a care package. Uh, hopefully he returns to his YouTube channel, but I really appreciate this one. The Vanguard Purple rookie. Very hard to find these Vanguard ones um, of Markin. Since, you know, it was only, it was like a one-year product, uh, out of 25. And then, just a few more, and then, um, that'll be it. Got a Levine Purple. Beautiful looking card, out of 99. I believe that, yeah, this retail exclusive. Then a Wendell Carter Jr. Green, Emerald, Cracked Ice. Or, Emerald Cracked Ice, not Green, Cracked Ice. Uh, that one's out of 88 as well. Um, similar to the Levine that was shown a while back. And then a Levine rookie card. I believe this is the first Levine rookie I showed that's numbered. It's out of 199. Red foil. 
um, Kobe, only Kobe numbered, uh, yeah, numbered rookie card I have, uh, if you're not counting that die cut, which is kind of a, I guess, a triple player card, but this one's out of 149 from Chronicles. Levine Gold, out of 10, very hard to find any Levine short prints, uh, due to the season he's having. That one's out of status, so it looks sweet. Another gold, Lowry Markman out of 10, Hardcourt Heroes Cracked Ice. Probably my favorite looking Lowry card just because that gold and the Cracked Ice pairs really well. And then the final card is my biggest, I want to say it's my biggest Bulls card I have. I could be wrong on that, but um, I think it might actually be. It is the Black Fireworks Prism from 2018 to 19 Prism. And if you guys haven't already figured it out, kaboom, it is a one of one. So, very, very, very cool right there. Uh, I showed that one just by itself in a showcase video, so excited to have that. So, almost a 20 minute long video, I do apologize, but um, I hope this was a lot better than some of the other showcase videos where they were just, you know, the same cards over and over again. This kind of changed it up a little bit, but hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know what you think, and uh, I'll see you in the final video, which is going to be the showcase of hits. So if you guys thought this was awesome, wait till you see those hits. Uh, so peace.